just like in any company or organization, the performance of the team is going to depend heavily on the skills and abilities of each member. And that's why Tom spends so much time training his dogs. On this training run, I was on a sled behind Tom. He was on a sled in front of me. We both were uh, mushing with seven dogs. And it was a three-day weekend up in the hills. Uh, we were training at about 8,500 feet. Temperature was perfect, and the dogs were enjoying it. This is a lot like the first couple hundred miles of the Iditarod. It's warm, wet snow, soft trails, climbing over mountain passes. Um, the trails aren't like this, though. They're <laughs> bottomless. You know, this is on a road, right? There's a solid road base underneath there. A lot of these trails are just going, and the Iditarod just go through swamps and stuff like that. So there's no bottom to them. So you'll be going along, and all of a sudden your team will just fall into this hole. Had some snowmobile are made when they were going by because they, they hit a soft spot. The dogs never get into a rhythm. They just it's constantly changing on what's going on. So a lot of them end up getting frustrated because it's such hard work and the trail is so inconsistent. It's a lot different. That's why like training here in Colorado doesn't prepare you. Yeah, we got big mountains. We got lots of snow, right? I mean, heck, we've gotten a hundred inches already in the past month, right? But you know, it's not the same. 